It's not usual, dear presidents, that we have so many women in an economic conference. This is to show that really when you look for the women, they are there. I'm told that this is the first time that there has been a three-day forum of this nature and that it will be held in the lead-up to the UNCTAD ministerial. I'm immensely proud, therefore, that Barbados has been given the opportunity to host UNCTAD 15's inaugural Gender and Development Forum. Tens of millions of children remain out of school, particularly girls. And for the first time in two decades, the Human Development Index has declined. Excellencies, we are moving in the wrong direction. And as I certainly don't have to tell you, the economic and social impact of our current circumstances falls regrettably, disproportionately on women and girls. As always, women, children and marginalized groups are disproportionately affected. Leaving no one behind goes well beyond a moral commitment. It is a commitment to our common future and the only pathway to a prosperous and sustainable future for all. We know that trade is not gender neutral and that's important to repeat it. It affects women and men, of course, very differently. The final goal, however, should not only be to have more women involved in trade, but to ensure that they engage under fair terms. That more inclusive and gender sensitive trade and development policies might now be there given the priority they deserve. Gender equality is a common responsibility. It is not only a women's issue. It is an objective that we all have to embrace.